father was one of the greatest influences in my creativity. He would bring up paints and drawing stuff, and me and my sister would play in them, and he would he would critique them, saying you know what he liked, what he didn't like, and how to how to improve things. And I think giving us the skills to draw and paint were one of the biggest biggest influences in my creativity. What is creativity? That's a that's a loaded question. Um, I think for me, going as far beyond the simple solution is being the most creative, whether it's you know, making a rock sculpture or a teapot, that going going beyond what was easiest to do into what may not have hap- may never have happened if you hadn't tried it is being creative. My mother's side of the family is very competitive. I think my grandmother's one of the most competitive people I know. Um, she always went to win, even if she was playing against little kids in Monopoly, she she would win. Um, I think that carried that over into a lot of my artwork that you know, it being done and finished isn't always okay. Sometimes it has to be the best. And, you know, being the best in terms of art sometimes means being the most creative. And I think I've, you know, brought my my sense of competitiveness into my artwork. And that, you know, if it's not the most creative thing I could make, that it's a failure. And, you know, I'm always pushing myself a little bit further, a little bit further. Speed skating helped me... Um, really focus my energy, you know, how to, how to be really competitive, how to take something that, um, you know, that you have a passion for and really put all of your energy into it so that it's no longer just a hobby, but that you can go beyond, that you can be the best if you practice and you work hard. And I took that into my, to my work. Ideas don't happen for me anymore. I don't walk around and all of a sudden I have an idea. I grow ideas. Um, the tanks started from a little 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 set that I had to make in college, a cream of sugar set. And I was at a antique show, and I saw a set of oil cans. And the oil cans had a relationship to my pourers, and that had you know similar ideas. They needed to dispense a liquid. Um, so I took the oil cans. I bought a couple, and I tried to to mock them up. I tried to make an actual oil can out of clay. From those, I took the features of the oil can, and I tried to mix them with my pores that I had already built. So I'm using some of the same parts, but I'm using a sensibility that an oil can would have. And you know, as they grow, they become a little more complex um, and a little more oil can-like and, you know, growing. The oil can re- remembered or reminded me of a idea that I had a while ago, and actually I tried to make, I tried to make a tank. Um, it didn't work. It, I didn't have the skills to build the tank that I wanted, the tank that I had in my head. So I went back to some of the drawings that I had and redrew them in terms of, you know, what I thought a tank was. And I took those ideas and put them into clay um, using, using the stuff that I had gotten from the oil can and other things that I'd learned along the way. I was able to produce the tank that I wanted. And this is the first tank and the second tank has gotten pushed a little further. It was made about the same time, and you know the next one after this is going to put, get pushed even further. Yeah, I was asked earlier whether or not um, I thought my creativity has waned since I've gotten older. And I don't think it has. I think it's improved. I've got skills now, um, methods that I can use to think of ideas, to sketch things out, to push to push like a simple solution into a much more complex solution. Things that I wouldn't have had as a child, and I don't think many children do have. Um, and it's opened up new doors, doors that you know didn't exist before. And I think that I've become more creative and I know I'm gonna become more creative as I learn how to use these tools that I've developed better and that I've had more practice with them. That you know what I'm doing now is just the tip of the iceberg. What's going to happen is the real work. I don't know if how well creativity can be nurtured. Um, I know it can be stifled. I try to give my students the opportunity to be, to be creative. Um, I give them the skills to make what they want to make without giving them too much information. I don't want them to. I don't want them to be clones of me. I want them to be themselves. But I want them to be successful. Thank you.